رمضان 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 كريم In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. May the peace and blessings of Allah be upon his final prophet and messenger Muhammad, on his family members and companions, and all those who follow in their way till the day of judgment. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, welcome to this new episode of Ramadan Insights. Tonight, I will be talking, talking to you about the mercy of Allah in Ramadan, or Ramadan as the month of mercy. We know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah the Almighty, is the most merciful. In fact, the fact that he sent down the Holy Quran is out of his infinite mercy for his creation. Allah said in the Quran, he said that we send down the book to you as clarification for all things and as a guidance and as a mercy and glad tidings to the Muslims. So the Quran itself is a book of guidance, it's a book of mercy to his creation, and it gives glad tidings to the Muslims. The Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, is a, a mercy to the worlds. وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةً لِلْعَالَمِينَ Allah says that he sent his messenger, the Prophet Muhammad, in Surah Al-Anbiya, as a mercy to the worlds. His coming is a blessing for us, is a mercy for us. So we have to understand that all these opportunities to get closer to the mercy of Allah. Now, we believe that this Quran, it has a lot of benefits for us. It tells us how we should live our life. It explains who is God Almighty, what are his attributes, how we should worship him, what are the principles we should live our, our life based on that, those principles, how we can attain salvation, and happiness in this life and the next life. So this is a mercy that Allah is guiding us to the right path and saving us from eternal damnation. And the Quran by itself is a mercy and it was sent in the month of Ramadan. So there's a close connection between the Quran and the month of Ramadan. In Ramadan, Muslims focus on reading the Quran and studying the Quran and trying to understand it so that they can relieve its principles and apply its teachings. Now in the Quran, Allah says in Surah Al-Zumar, قُلْ يَا عِبَادِي الَّذِينَ أَسْرَفُوا عَلَىٰ أَنفُسِهِمْ لَا تَقْنَطُوا مِنْ رَحْمَةِ اللَّهِ إِنَّ اللَّهَ يَغْفِرُ الذُّنُوبَ جَمِيعًا إِنَّ اللَّهَ هُوَ الْغَفُرُ الرَّحِيمُ In Surah Al-Zumar, Allah says, Say, O my servants who have committed, who have transgressed against their own souls, don't lose or don't despair in the mercy of Allah because Allah forgives all sins, is the most forgiving and the most merciful. Now if somebody studies and thinks and reflects on this verse, this is the most hopeful verse in the Quran. This is the best verse that anyone who is a sinner should actually read every day so that he does not lose mercy or despair from the mercy of Allah the great and the most merciful God. We human beings are fallible, we are not perfect, we commit sins, we transgress against our souls. The Prophet Muhammad said it clearly, every son of Adam is a sinner and the best of the sinners are those who repent. There's no better opportunity for us than in Ramadan to seek forgiveness from Allah, to repent to Allah and to get the mercy of Allah because in Ramadan we are fasting in the daytime and we are praying in the nighttime. So these are means of attaining the mercy of Allah and his forgiveness. In Ramadan we are giving, spending in charity. When you spend money in the way of Allah, Allah will accept it and forgive you. If you recite the Quran or attend the Quran teaching cycles, teaching classes in Ramadan, it's a way of attaining mercy from Allah. When we perform seclusion and stay in the mosque for 10 days or three days or whatever, how many days you wanna stay, based on your ability and capacity, you may be attaining the mercy of Allah, the Almighty. Because these are all things that bring you closer to Allah, the most merciful. 
When we repent and cry of our sins and weep of our mistakes, it's a way to get the mercy of Allah because Allah is most merciful and most forgiving. When we help those who are poor, help those who are in debt, relieve those who are in distress, it is the way to get mercy because the Prophet said, Ar-Rahimun yarhamhum ar-Rahman Erham man fil ard yarhamu kaman fil sama Show mercy to those on earth the one in the heavens will show mercy to you. Those who are merciful, Allah will be merciful to them. So we have to understand that the mercy of Allah is extends to everything. وَرَحْمَتِي وَسِعَتْ كُلَّ شَيْءٍ The mercy of Allah is extensive to everything. Allah has made 100 mercies. He only sent down one mercy which is shared between the jinns and the humans and the animals and the insects to the extent that a wild animal will be kind to its offspring because of this one mercy that Allah sent down. And Allah has kept 99 parts of this mercy with him to be, to be there to help and for, to benefit his creation, to show mercy to his creation on the day of judgment. So we can understand that the most merciful is always capable and always willing to show mercy to his creation. But what is our role? Our role is to come back to him. We have to repent back to the way of the truth. We have to come back to Allah, repent for our sins and accept our mistakes and take this opportunity of Ramadan to sincerely uh, submit to Allah, to follow his straight path, to do good, and to show the best that we can in observing God's teachings in this month of Ramadan. So Ramadan is an opportunity to attain the mercy of God and all those who strive in this month, they will get the rewards with Allah the Almighty because fasting is only known to Allah and He will reward for it. There is no limit for the reward. So I believe that whoever is having faith with Allah and he strives in this month of Ramadan, he will most likely win the mercy of Allah for the forgiveness and for attaining the paradise. So this is a blessed month. It's an opportunity. We should take extra efforts, make extra efforts to win the mercy of Allah, that Allah will accept our good deeds. And I pray to Allah to forgive us for all our mistakes, to show us mercy in this world and in the next, and grant us his forgiveness. It is narrated that Omar bin Khattab uh, mentioned that some prisoners were brought to the Prophet Muhammad, may the peace and blessing of Allah be upon him. And among them was a woman that was looking around for her child. When she found this child, she rushed to this child, she embraced the child and, and, and held him to her breast. So the Prophet told his companions, do you think that this woman will throw this child into the fire? They said, of course not, unless she's obliged to do so. So the Prophet told the companions, Allah is more merciful to his servants than this woman to her child. What an example. Nobody can imagine the compassion of Allah, the Almighty, because we all know how our mothers are so compassionate to us. But the Prophet made it so clear that Allah is most compassionate to his creation. I would like to end this session or this talk tonight. I would like to end this topic by praying to Allah to grant us his mercy, to forgive us, his, forgive, to forgive us our sins, to help us to, to fast this month sincerely and to accept this fast from us. Please, O oh Allah, accept all our good deeds in this month of Ramadan and cover us with your mercy and make us be among your righteous servants. Amen. Ramadan.